And we're back. So we are in Bob's room, which is a complete and utter mess. It's a ton of stuff. We found a journal with a bunch of abandoned plans in it. And now we're picking up random junk off his floor, which Ted would probably yell at us for in real, you know, if they were both here because we're doing his work because he should really be cleaning up for himself. More wine bottles. Maybe it's maybe it is Bob that's drinking. Who knows? Invoice for a large amount of statues. Continued. Bought in bulk and commissioned a variety of materials. Bob seems to have ordered more statues than could possibly be fit inside the facility. Due to this, the statue storage fee is also included. He did indeed get a discount, but the cost is so outlandish in the first place that the missing zero is barely noticeable. They all get left with a total payment received or needed in 30 days thing on them, too. Um, let's see. Did I see something else pick up over here? I thought something else glowing here. I guess not. It's over the side. There's a box of cereal and... What is this thing? A navigational chart! It's a small navigational chart of the Pacific Ocean with a very peculiar course plotted on from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has more in common with the movement of a small fly than any nautical vessel. It's apparently part of operational subaquanium subaquanium evadir. Evadery. Evader. I don't know. But owing to your poor understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think that it's a chain restaurant specializing in Italian cuisine. This must be for them to dump the toxic waste. Hey! The Batari! This is a bigger Batari than was in the house. But it's a Batari. Capuchin treats! Monkey treats. New size! <laughs> Who cares? They're monkeys. Made with real stuff, maybe. <laughs> Value size. You got a hungry monkey? <laughs> we got just the thing, man. <laughs> Bob mistakenly thought that cappuccino was another word for delicacy and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on. When he was told the snacks were in fact four monkeys, he ate them anyways. <laughs> Alright. Sugar bagels. I kinda I think I would eat sugar bagels. Like if they made those, that would be a thing. More boxes of cappuccino treats and meteor crunch. Uh, I can climb over that. Why can I climb over that? That's weird. Yet again, knowing this game, the fact that I can climb over it, you would think there would be something going on here. But there's nothing going on here. Why is there a chair on the back of the car? I don't, I, I don't understand. There's a grill in Bob's room. This would kill you. This would literally kill you. This is a grill. You don't grill inside the house. That's how Brad Delp died. I've told that story before, haven't I? <laughs> a golden throne. Another presidential bathroom. Vladdy understands now his purpose to forever walk, following a stupid idiot everywhere. Well, I mean, they created you for me. Button? No button. Door? Nothing. Handle? No. All right. So we uh we have been everywhere we need to be. I don't think there's anything else in here. We cut the top off that plant. That was the big deal. That was the reason for this. Ultimately, was to get the pieces to put on that thing. Um, so we came in here. We tried going down here. There's nothing down there. I don't see any more rocks or anything. Um, down there was nothing left. Uh, we have done everything in this area as bestly as we can. And I think oh, joints are stiff. it is time. Vladdy does not know why he bothers saying so, because idiot does not care. Listen, man, chill, chill the F out. All right, so face, haha, -ha, and hair. And I don't know how that's going to fool this thing, but it's going to fool it because this camera's terrible. 
That does not sound good. Aha! Hey, there I he is. I found you. You've fallen into my the cornucopia. Just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will stupid break. Stupid plant, why is your face like that? But what is that? Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <laughs> Shut up, you mean furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race! You will pay for this insult! Let me just. What's up, boy? That's biting is cheating! I win by default! Ha ha ha! Your plans have been foiled by my plan, which are better than yours, you dummy! Ha 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 ha! Awesome. And I am most certainly not retreating. <laughs> you know, this place is filled with idiots. Pretty much. Pretty much, man. So that happened. <laughs> ah, we're in Ted's room. I have two items. One of my friends used to do this with his fireplace. It's like not a real fireplace, so you can't have a real fire. You can do that stuff. That's like a vault tech thing. Uh, yeah. Here's something. An old newspaper clipping. It's an old newspaper clipping that shows a very young Bob and Ted winning a science award for an artificial intelligence prototype. Judging by their demeanor, their partnership hasn't changed much since then. The article notably praises the, lack the display's slick presentation, spearheaded by Bob, and completely ignores the sciencey parts, which Ted did in his own. Local teens win big science award. Hmm. Yeah, coffee press. That's because he makes the coffee. A concerned lab report. A lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject, the famed female Ruby Queen Corn. Much more concerning than the last one, as it uses the phrases like, can't be controlled, the corn follow her, and much too British. Recommends the crushing subject as soon as possible until further notice. That's why she's locked away. Ted's journal, written entirely in blue pen, this perfectly sized paragraphs, is the most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal sock organization, regrets on his partnership with Bob, and sadness that his own project, an experimental AI program, couldn't get funded. So Vladdy's his AI program, I think. Based on details provided here out of the door I can't go through so he has one of those things between so this is one of those this is a thing you're supposed to do you're supposed to separate your work from your bed I read something about that once so that, like even that small thing like it gives you a separation of the environment which allows you to say this is you know this is my room, and that's my bed. Room. Or whatever. Why does he have... That's a weird statue. Creepy kimono doll. Books that have... There's no books to interact with. There's a thing. Ah, a unicorn. Ha-ha! Why do we walk everywhere? A unicorn candle holder. Added to folio. Candle holder, carving of Dave, the legendary unicorn, brought to life by a hungover demigod. This magical creature possesses near infinite foresight and a complete lack of spatial awareness. It fell to its death immediately after it was created. I, I wish I knew this story. I want to. I want to know that story. There needs to be more about that. A jar of Renka for that machine. A cheap knockoff of well-known decaf coffee brand. Renka is unique in that it doesn't taste like coffee whatsoever. Instead, the makers went for the taste and texture of an old boot. It's the only thing the facility's coffee trolley delivers. Decaf coffee is like that, folks. It's like that. It tastes kind of burnt. It's not the greatest. You want the regular coffee. There's no point in drinking coffee if you're not going to drink regular coffee. It's just, you know, you need the caffeine. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so 
I have these things, so I need to go find that machine. Um, uh, that was the kitchen. So we've been everywhere here. That was new, but we've been in there, and now we've done all those. And I think, I think, I think we're done here. We're gonna go find that coffee thing and send it on its merry way. Where was it? It was in the kitchen, right? Down here. Uh, I think. No? No. Oh! No. I can't open it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, where is that thing? Coffee cart is not in this room. Where did I see the coffee cart? I wish I had like a memory that wasn't like a sieve. Um, the kitchen is down there. But these are in its way? I feel like... Uh, I don't know. Where's the coffee cart? I can't go out this way. The door's locked. Uh, it was in... Oh, it was in Ted's room. Or was it in Bob's room? I think it was over here. No, wait, not over here. Peace away. It was... Hey, idiot! Let these joints are creaking! Not in here. Other room. I don't know why he was leaving notes for... Bob to fix the coffee machine? Because the coffee machine was in his office. But, here we go. Ha-ha! I presumed. That side's not open. I can stand up in here. That is a vent. Mm, no. It's not a vent. It's... How did I get through here? Oh, it's the door. Oh, it's the door. Okay. It was like so excited to go this way. Script for a Broadway musical. What? Not a biographical play, but a story of an albino cornstalk's quest to destroy something called flesh bags. The story has several continuity problems, and the choreography makes absolutely no sense unless the dancers gain the ability to transform into a quantum state and teleport from one motion to the other. Okay, so this is the stupid cornstalk. And we're all stupid, but... Aha! It's open! Garbage bags? Uh, is that the stool I needed from the other room? I think this is the stool I needed for the other room. A stepladder! Ha-ha! You vaguely remember a ladder you spotted earlier in West Hook 2 that you could access with the help of the stepladder. You notice that your observation happened after a few moments ago or several centuries ago because you have little to no concept of linear time. It was a long time ago. Game-wise, but, you know. Wow, that is a lot of wine. That is a lot of wine. <laughs> this is a lot of wine. This is something that you want to... Yeah, this is a nice place to be. A bag filled with garbage. Maybe it was the smell. Maybe it was the way the light caught the plastic. But something about this particular garbage bag caught your eye and will never let it go. You will carry it with you always. Anything else? These are like... These are like... Cocoa, I think? Mustard. Yeah, mustard comes in those cans, I guess. They're all just resized cans. They all kind of come the same thing. These are tuna cans. That's Again, they're grilling indoors. This is a bad idea unless there's a vent system. There's a vent system. Hooray. All right. Um, let's see. There's not a vent system in Ted's room. 
framed popcorn ad. Collecting all of this garbage will not make you less stupid, idiot. Professor Poppycorn. Bob is so enamored with this popcorn brand that it's mascot that he framed a number of his favorite advertisements, placed them all over the facility. They were removed immediately by staff. Bob, I don't care how much you love this third-rate popcorn. Stop framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. Cordially, Ted. This is the door to the kitchen. Haha! -ha! Good. Good. That's better. Uh, let's see. Propane tank. Nothing to pick up here? Nothing to pick up. Oh, glue! Craft glue. If you ask nicely, Vladdy can fix the door back to level one. He won't like it, but he'll do it. Okay. Well. We'll, uh. We'll go back there. Let's see. That thing. I've seen these before. They sell one of those at, um. The. Pawn shop near me. It's just a countertop oven. It's kind of weird. They also have a countertop. They have a neat countertop dishwasher. That kind of like. I have a dishwasher. I don't need one, but you know, it was interesting to see. Let's see. Hi, Ted. Just to let you know, I spilled soda on some of your things and put them in here to dry out. Nothing serious. Just some old Modi photos and papers and in your important pile. Sorry, Bob. Bob, I hate you so much. Cordially, Ted. So he said he put them in there to dry, but it's not nothing's open. Do 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 nothing there. Okay. These things, any of these I can touch? Nope. Some pizza trays, plates, spoons, forks, knives. Just a bunch of junk that I can't do anything with. Alright. And just uh, one last once over to make sure everything's covered. We read that, and we are now out of here. This place why I couldn't go behind the door, because he can't get back there anyways. So if he can now fix that door... We're all done. Vladdy's joints are stiff. Vladdy does You're not You're miles away from me, man. Saying so because idiot does not care. Why does Vladdy have to fixing everything? When is it idiot's turn? <laughs> Vladdy not even sure what to fix. Is Vladdy supposed to hit stoop? <laughs> Stupid American garbage built by idiots. <laughs> Hey, loading screen! Okay, that door is closed and I can't go back in, right? Okay. Well, hopefully I have everything. I think I have everything. I don't need to open it again. We're fine. We're fine. Alright. Um... I presume we are going to go back to back to where I can fix this because now I have glue and the ladder and all those things that I need. What a mess. Is this place where all the garbage come from? No, but have you... I did take him through here, obviously, because he get down there. Didn't I? No, no, I didn't. Yeah, we were in here before. Okay, let's go let's go back this way. So that's what I thought was down here. I'm trying to remember which way I was coming from before. So Um That was off to the right and this was the upstairs that go Does this go? No. No. Here's the bathroom. He doesn't comment on those we looked. Alright, so... This one, then. 
place is such a maze. Har 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 har. Anyways. Why do you have to carry this bag on his back? Nothing goes in it. Idiot. I mean, I could be giving you stuff to carry. You wanna... If you wanna keep on keeping on, man. It's all open again. Um. Uh. Where was the thing from? Was it up here? I wish it was a map. It's not a map. Where are we going? In a giant circle? Stupid. Yes, yeah, the broken one. All right. Okay, I need to find a place to put this to fix it. Clearly, it doesn't go there. Yeah, that doesn't help. I can go here though. Ha ha! I'm outside. Assets are looting. Okay, we're back outside. So that's the other one that I opened there. We're on the roof of the facility, I think. Are we? Or is this just... It's an underground facility. It's an underground facility. So we're... Out here. It's like the raptor pen. <laughs> I think this is what I could see out the window that I couldn't get to before. Run off control. Do I have... You. No. Hmm. What's down here? Um Bloody glad he cannot smell. It would be worse than garbage here. I presume so. Warning contains hazardous chemicals. Please do not work within fifty miles without protective headwear. Okay, this is the pool that Ted ordered to put the hazardous waste in. I thought that was a person, but it's actually a You can get up there. It's a lifeguard thing. Why it's a lifeguard thing, I don't know. You really shouldn't be swimming in there. Life preserver? The rocket's like a design on it. There's boxes down here, which means I can't go that way. This needs some repairs. Yes, it can't do that thing it does anymore. What does it do again? Those places. All right, yes, I remember. Oh, the tractor. That's the tractor. All right. Hey, a rock! Everything in this place is so stupid! Yeah, it is. A questionable rock. You're not really sure if this particular rock is a rock at all, or simply a cleverly colored sponge. You have named it Jarvis. It calls you Mr. Stark. No diving. Well, yeah, no. No kidding. I can't go up there. <laughs> And I want to. Hey, a life preserver. Added a folio. You like the exotic red and white pattern of this interesting item, which is why you picked it up. Never occurs to you that you might be able to use it to float on water, so you just wear it like a bracelet. I really hope when they show me later, like, because I have this feeling they're going to show me that I'm wearing that. I might be disappointed. I may not remember that I have it. I really probably don't remember that I have it. Let's see, boxes are still there? Yep. All right, and there's nothing. There's nothing over there, so this little journey is 
no longer necessary. More rocks, but they don't let up, so we're okay. Uh, anything here? No. Over here. Nope. I think I can squeeze around the house, though. Yeah. Let's see what's on the back of this Quonset hut here. Aha! Fuel jug! Looks like fuel for the tractor nearby. Being the skeptic that you are, you took several gulps of the liquid inside to confirm your theory on what it was. And you were right. I am now highly flammable. Yeah, a wheel. A rusty wheel. Add it to the folio. In a quiet moment, you will take this rusty wheel and roll it on the ground, wondering what its purpose could be. Afterwards, you forget you have it. This is a horseshoe pit. Only goes one way, though. There's not enough room for two, so you just throw it that way. And there's a bench. So people like sat out here like playing horseshoes and stuff. Huh. Must be from when they had more employees. And now, um yeah, now into the Quonset hut. Security quarters. The men living here look very bored. Yes. I agree. More chicken nuggets. Cigars, possibly? No, it's just a computer or a book. That's stuck open. A boring security report. One of many reports written by the lone soldier charged with keeping the facility safe. After reading this, it seems there wasn't a problem. Most entry logs are variation on the phrase, nothing to report. Also contains a running count of crossword puzzles solved, which numbers the tens of thousands. <laughs> Situation boring. <laughs> Is that the sports almanac? Oh no, it's just crossword puzzles. Look like the sports almanac. Anything here? Nothing here. Alright. Are those notes? No. He built a... <laughs> he built a giant cup for it. Pizza boxes. Clashing textures. I have hiccups, I'm sorry. You may be hearing that. A wrench! More stupid garbage, idiot! This wrench is something you'd use to get rid of the chemical liquid that fills the pool. Here's a hint, it doesn't involve throwing it in the pool itself. Good thing it said that. My my scarecrow here might have done that. A pizza flyer! A flyer for a local pizza restaurant that looks like it was frequented often by facility staff. Includes a special for their signature, quintuple cheese pizza, which it offers to customers for free if they can finish it in 20 minutes or less without suffering a magic massive heart attack. Viva the pizza! I actually would eat that quintuple. I've had triple cheese. I do make triple cheese when I order sometimes. Double just doesn't cut it sometimes. Like a small triple cheese. Pretty cool. Uh, chair. Add to folio. You carry this as a reminder to stop every once in a while to sit, clear your mind, and ponder on the meaning of all things. You'll never do this, not once in the course of your adventure. Instead, everyone else will wonder why you're wearing a chair as a hat. I really hope that is the truth. Let's see. Another pizza box, more pizza boxes, more pizza boxes. Lots of pizza boxes. Everywhere. Pizza boxes. And I have picked up every item that I could possibly pick up in this room. And we leave. Exit. Stage right. Now, I have no idea how long this video has been. Um, I actually have been through two loading screens. Usually that means it's been a long time. But I think they came pretty close together. They were within about ten minutes of each other. So, I'm not really sure where we are. This might be kind of long. And if it is, I apologize. Um... So, I'm going to do something at least. So I'm going to open this. And I'll run back to the pool. And when I get there, uh, we'll probably call it for, for this one. Use wrench to drain chemical runoff pool. 
The smell remains. This reminds me a lot of Maniac Mansion. In so many ways. So many, many, many ways. I might play Day of the Tentacle for you guys at some point. Maniac Mansion's in that. We could probably, yeah, probably get a couple things out of that one. Let's see. Alright, so the pool is now drained, and I can go down to the pool. Haha! -ha. Why, why did I want to do that? here. Oh, a key! A toolbox key. This is a different toolbox. That toolbox that I had in that other place. It's different. Uh, there's a toolbox near that strange spire that this key would fit perfectly into. You can manage to stop dropping it on, dropping it on every third step you take. You know that strange spire. Do I see a spire? I don't see a spire. I see trees. Um, I feel like I've been everywhere out here. So... I don't know. That's the barn. What spire is it talking about? This isn't a spire. Um, I don't see anything. It must be talking about the... It's got to be talking about the... Um... Unless this is... Op oh, it's open again. Alright, this is open. So, you know what? Alright, we're going to call this one here. Like I was saying. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll pick up on the next one. And I run by and fuel up that tractor and all hell breaks loose. I'm expecting... I think I'm not going to be able to drive it. Probably going to be him driving it. Which means chaos. Alright. Thanks for watching. What's you